Okay, everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a while since we've done a van tour and man, it's been about six months since we've showed you all of the upgrades to both the outside and the inside of our van. And when we were down in the lower 48, we did a lot. Welcome to beautiful Hope, Alaska. Today, we're gonna to give you a tour of our 2019 Winnebago Rebel 4x4 Sprinter van, which we have turned into the ultimate adventure van. We're gonna walk through the van today show you all of the modifications and upgrades that we've done over the last 54,000 miles. We really wanted to test out the van, figure out what changes we needed to make, and then make those changes over time. Now we've pretty much completed every modification that we want to do to the van. Over the last six months, we toured from Alaska and worked our way south all the way to the Gulf of Mexico down in Texas experiencing temperatures from minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit all the way to 108 degrees Fahrenheit. So stick around, we'll start with the outside of the van and then we'll work our way inside to talk about all of those changes that we made in order to make this the ultimate adventure van. One of the first changes that we made was adding the Backwoods Adventure Mods front bumper and we have two light bars attached to this. We have a 19 inch light bar from Vision X and we have a 40 inch light bar from Vision X, as well as four one inch cubes on the very front of the bumper. All of these are controlled on our control panel inside the cab. And they make a huge difference when you're driving in the back country at night, or even here in Alaska, driving down the highway where you have to worry about moose coming out from the trees, you'll be able to see them from a mile away. We also decided to go with a worn winch and this is a 12,000 pound winch with synthetic rope in order to get us out of a bind if we need to. We have used it several times to pull not only trucks out of snow, but cars as well. We haven't had to use it to extract ourselves from being stuck just yet. You'll notice that we have put Arma coating on our front grille and on our hood. We noticed that we were getting a lot of dents and scratches on the hood from off-roading so much and that has helped protect both the grill and the front hood from those rocks. Under the van, we also made a couple more modifications. We had the S-bar moved from inside the van to underneath, which gives us easier access to do our own maintenance with the S-bar heater. Uh, we also added a heat exchanger, which allows the S-bar heater to keep our engine warm or allows our engine heat to actually warm the inside of the van when we're driving down the road. So both of those items were a significant change. We're really happy with the relocation and we've already had to do our own service on it. So having it where it is now really makes a big difference. The S-Bar diesel heater has kept us warm and we've had no issues with it other than the basic maintenance that goes with having that kind of heating system. Knowing that we are traveling deep into the south in the heat of the summer, we went ahead and tinted both our driver's side and passenger side window. We also put Arma coating on our rock panels and up here on the side of the van. These were areas that were getting a lot of scratches, dents and dings as well. We decided to stick with BF Goodrich KO2 tires. They're good on road, off road, in the snow, on ice. We went with a bigger size. We have two 85, 75, 17s, which is a 33 inch tire. We were able to do that because we upgraded our suspension to the Van Compass 6.3, which is an adjustable suspension, and we can have it set to a very soft suspension for off-roading, which takes out all of the washboardy roads, or we could go to a very hard suspension for super windy days on the highway, and we could just do a normal medium-sized suspension for driving around town. We're very happy with the suspension. It gives us a two inch lift, which allows our body to come higher up off the ground, which protects everything underneath the van when we're off road. We also went with the Backwoods Adventure Mods ladder, which has a much bigger footprint and allows us to get up to our max tracks as well as clean off the solar panels up top. It's a much sturdier ladder than the stock ladder. We also have our cassette toilet right here. The cassette toilet allows us to dump in places like pit toilets, gas station bathrooms, rest areas, 
etc. We don't have to go looking for a dump station at a campground, which allows us to spend most of our time off grid and enjoying our adventures. On the back of the van, we went with the Backwoods Adventure Mods bumper. We have one inch cube lights that are by rigid and those are integrated into our reverse lights, which brightens this whole area when we're backing up at night and allows us to use our rear camera. One of the things that we noticed with the stock reverse lights is it would not light up the camera very well at night and you couldn't see anything. Because we have oversized tires, we had to come up with a solution to put a spare onto the van. So we went with Al Vans Engineering and put on a tire carrier for our spare tire here in the back. And we went with an Alvan storage box. Inside the box, we keep our recovery gear and we also keep our air compressor. That way they're easy to access when we're off-road and we need to use it. We also have a little recovery shovel up here. This is completely useless in the winter because it freezes up. It'll probably be nice in the summer if we ever need it, but we do keep a shovel inside to do our own extractions. One of the things that's really helpful is this rear partition. We got this from thisvanlife.net. It is very, very cozy. And it helps insulate these back windows for us so in these frigid cold temperatures, we don't feel any drafts inside the bed. We also decided to pick up an outdoor mat from Inhabit Design Works. And we also keep our leveling blocks here in the back. We have two speakers that we included when we upgraded our sound system, one in each door. We added two things underneath the van to protect the bottom. We have our engine skid plate, and then we also have a skid plate for our rear differential. Okay, now that Jim has showed you all of the cool stuff on the outside of the van that makes it the ultimate adventure van, now it's time to come on the inside and take a look around. Come on in. It's cold out there, so we're gonna start with the very first upgrade I made to the van on the inside was the bed. The mattress that came with the van was less than ideal. It was really thin, so I took a seven inch memory foam mattress, cut it out myself, made two ballasts on either side, and now it's about the size of a full-size bed, maybe a little bit bigger. We use full-size sheets and a queen-size blanket. We have two blankets. And one of the tips that I like to give everybody is I tend to put two sets of sheets on, and that way if one sheet gets dirty, I just take it off put it in the um, laundry and then I have a new sheet on the bottom that's clean. Now our bed is super comfortable and I sleep on the outside. Jim sleeps on the inside because he sleeps so good at night but we sleep this way on the van and it actually works out really well for us and we sleep nice and cozy and warm. We added another addition that I didn't think that we would ever need and that is this Canyon Adventure Vans step. Jim and I are both fairly tall but getting in and out of the bed it's just so much easier with this little addition of a step. We didn't think we would need it, but now that we have it, we love it. I love that the step just folds down and out of the way. When we do use the induction cooktop, we use magma nesting cookware. You just have to make sure that you ordered the induction version of it. And I love that these five pots and the lids all stack into this little case. And, Boom, they're easy to use. Totally not trying to sell these to you. I just love them because the handle comes off. Voila, and then you just take it off. So easy. We also have a marine sink. It's pretty standard for the 2019 Revel. I like that this part swivels and goes down. You never see it again. Boom, and we have all this counter space. You just have to be careful. If you turn this up and you put this down, all the water will spill out. So yeah, you have to be careful of that. I also like that this comes up on this side. You have more room for the counter. 
and cooking. I like that. But that also means that our refrigerator is right here. It works for us. This is my duty is to grab things out of the refrigerator. But One of the things about the van that has kind of bugged us is the refrigerator. And it tends to have a mind of its own because it will get colder or it won't be cold at all because the knob on the inside I think the vibration is turning it up or turning it down. Our friend from Kager Industries created this nifty little tool that goes on the knob of the refrigerator and keeps it from turning all on its own. So he made four of these for us and we'll leave his information in the comment section below if you're interested in these. I don't think he's selling them or anything. He's just seeing how much we like them and they have worked wonders for keeping our refrigerator consistent with temperature. For storage we have three drawers and um, they are not very organized. We tend to just throw everything in. Don't judge. And then this drawer down here is just smaller than the rest. So that's my girl drawer. All of our coffee stuff, cleaning stuff, anything extra is up here as well. Again, we are not incredibly organized, so we don't pretend to be experts when it comes to organization. It gets better. <laughs> so, if you have OCD, we're probably going to drive you crazy. This is an issue. One of the questions I would like to address that we do get asked a lot is what made us choose the Revel over the Storyteller? Well, the first thing is we hadn't seen the Storyteller when we purchased the Revel. When we stepped inside, we hadn't stepped inside of a Storyteller. However, we did see one on videos a few months later and decided that the bathroom situation wasn't quite set up for how we might like it. So we fell in love with the Revel because of this standalone closet. I can put anything in there that I want to put in there. It's completely out of sight and out of mind. And when I shower, all I have to do is take out five bins, two shelves, and I have a nice enclosed shower. The majority of our stuff is in these five bins, which is actually probably kind of hard to believe, but trust me, they're stuffed full of stuff. This one is pretty much all seasonings. And I'm not going to go through what's in each one, but just trust me, all of our stuff is in there. And these two bamboo shelves, and then this again is where we shower. I keep the shower curtain sort of tucked back underneath, and after I shower, it dries this way. I also, as Jim mentioned before, the cassette toilet is something that we really love about the Revel. Just do your business, slide it, it's gone. Slide it back. Also, when we are using the toilet and we're winterized, we just do our business, put a little bit of antifreeze in there, a little bit of water, and our porta potty packs to disintegrate anything that is in the cassette toilet and it's easy to dump. In cabinet number three, we have where we store our magma pots, one of Jim's drones, and all of our electronics. We also have Overland Gear Guy window pillows and these have proven to be absolutely invaluable when it comes to keeping the van both warm in the winter and cool in the summer. As Jim mentioned earlier we've gone from 108 degrees down to minus 40 and making sure that our windows are covered has been a big deal. They are full of Havelock wool they're handmade here in the United States. These are excellent. We also have this fan event cover. It's beautiful. It's magnetic and it actually keeps the sound down from the rattle of the fan. And that's pretty cool too. It keeps us nice and warm in the winter and then in the summer when we have the air conditioner on, we put this up, run the AC, keeps it nice and cool in here. After I upgraded the bed, I think the second most important upgrade that we could do was the insulation. We added Havelock wool insulation from the front of the van to the very back, opening every panel we could find and discovering that there was very minimal insulation behind these doors. It was foam, block foam, and it needed a little extra love. So we ordered Havelock wool 
and we stuffed every nook and cranny you can find in this van and it has made a huge difference both with the temperature control and noise control going down the road. We also have an Overland Gear Guy window pillow on this window which has cut down the rattle of this window no matter how hard we tried to fix this little rattle in this door. This has been the only thing that has made it even tolerable to go down the road is this window pillow. So Winnebago, I think your shades could be upgraded a little bit and maybe consider getting rid of this rattle in the door if you're listening. Another feature of this van that I love over the Storyteller is the bed. It's so easy to go up and down with just the push of a button. It goes up. You can add anything you need underneath or get anything you need from underneath out. And then we have a whole new living area down here now. Thanks to Canyon Adventure Vans because they created a system that fits perfectly in here that is so easy to get in and get out. And we upgraded it this past summer because we had the original system that didn't have the sliding doors. Now we have the sliding doors down there huge difference because now I can just slide open a door, grab out my clothes, you know, and I'm good to go for the day. Before, I wasn't able to do that. So it's really nice to have that extra living space back here. And if we want to put our bikes back here, our skis, we have all of this space now. It's pretty great. So let's take a look at it. So back here we have the garage lounge storage system from Canyon Adventure Vans. And this has been an absolute game changer for us. And we couldn't help but continue the upgrades, especially from the original table that we had, which was fairly big and bulky. If you remember correctly, it was big and black and didn't really swivel around very well. Well, they've come up with this new version of this table that just folds and it is just so excellent in terms of size. I spend a lot of time back here when I am working on the road. And then it just folds back up and then <laughs> so crazy how easy it is to get in and out of here for storage. Just move the cushion and then you have all of this space for storage. Jim keeps his tools on this side and we keep our clothes on this side. And normally this goes up a little bit higher. I just haven't um, pushed it all the way up, but we don't have lights under here and the newer versions of the Revel do. Um, I think that one of our additional upgrades eventually will to be put additional lighting under the bed so we can see better. But honestly, I haven't really needed it. We also carry an additional five gallons of water in this collapsible jug, and that's our drinking water. Last but not least, the ultimate upgrade for this van was our carpet from Inhabit Design Works, which has proven to be amazing, especially in the winter. Previously, I used to cut out a carpet remnant from Lowe's and sort of make it our, our own in the winter, and it used to get really soggy, and I would have to throw it away in the summer and just start over again in the winter. And then we discovered Inhabit Design Works carpet, which has just been incredible because it is, whatever it's made out of, it's like somewhat waterproof, so if you get snow on it or dirt, you just swipe it off and then it dries really fast. It always looks brand new even though we've had it for like a good six months and we never take our shoes off. And when we wake up in the morning, the floor's warm. In the winter, our feet are actually warm because it insulates the floor really well. So between the waterproof capabilities and how warm it keeps our feet and its insulation and all the cool colors, this is really cool stuff. Not only do we have the indoor shower there, but right here, we also have an outdoor shower that we used all summer long. One of the other things that we've changed along the way is how we've configured our forward cab area, and that is the way we turn the chairs around. We no longer turn the captain's chair around because in the event of an emergency, we wanna be able to get out of that situation quick. So we found that we weren't even turning this chair around, Jim would sit here, I sit in the back, and Ember sits here. We have plenty of room, but that gave us the opportunity to add this table. Sorry, Ember. And this has been really nice to have because we can sit here and lounge and enjoy this space. This bench seat here has absolutely turned into Ember's bed, although it has seat belts and others can sit here belted in. We have removed the back cushion and just allowed this to be Ember's space. It does turn into a separate bed by 
pulling this section down. And then there's a cushion that goes right here and you can have an extra person sleeping here. We just haven't really utilized that feature. So under Ember's bed here is probably the best thing in this van that we could possibly have to make this the ultimate adventure van. And that is 630 amp hours of lithium power, which means that we can go from zero power to full power in just two hours of driving. So we can run our batteries down to nothing, which we have not done yet. We've tried. The lowest we've gotten our bat batteries down to is 30%. We can bring them back up to 100% by driving for two hours with the second alternator. That also means we don't have power anxiety anymore. And when we had our old AGM batteries, after about a year and a half, they were starting to wear out. And in the morning, we would have to wake up, turn the engine on to make coffee. Now that we have lithium, it has been amazing to run the air conditioner in the summer and keep us nice and toasty and warm in the winter. This summer, we were able to run our air conditioner for just under eight hours with our lithium power system from Romerig. So thank you, Romerig. We would not be able to do this without you. And last but not least, our final upgrade, which is our stereo system. The original stereo system that came with the Sprinter was not very nice. And Jim and I absolutely love music and we love musicals and we don't do a whole lot of talking when we're driving down the road for all of these miles that we travel together. We like to sing at the top of our lungs and enjoy music. So with the addition of all of the speakers, we have a Pioneer head unit which supports Apple CarPlay and all of our apps like iOverlander. So we can be going down the road and be lost and that thing will tell us where to go. And that's about, that wraps it up you guys. Thank you so much for joining us on this van tour. We will keep you updated on all of our future upgrades. So stick around and make sure that you're subscribed. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay safe. We'll see you again soon.